I'm shutting you out of my channel. Oh, that's so sweet, your boy, Pat. Thank you. I appreciate you doing that. I'm glad you said that, Eugenia, because here it is. Today on Shoutouts, Eugenia Cooney. Alright, what up, what up, y'all? This your boy, Pat. And welcome to another episode of... Shoutouts. And tonight, we're shouting out the popular Eugenia Cooney. Now... Eugenia is a very popular YouTuber who not too long ago reached 1 million subscribers. And to that I say, congratulations Eugenia. Like I said, here's to many more. But the story on her is like, you know, her content, it mostly consists of makeup and dress up tutorials. And she's one of the most nicest, nicest people, you know, that you'll ever see her on YouTube because she has that upbeat that happy-go-lucky attitude and things like that and as you see you know she has thick skin because do doing this whole controversy thing which if you notice right here what she's basically known for is her body type as you can see you know Eugenia is small I'm like she is alarmingly skinny it's so skinny to the fact that people have thrown around the assumptions and the accusations that she might be anorexic and you've had Popular YouTubers like Vegan Games, Freely the Banana Girl, that bitch ass, dickney ass Onision, who have made videos after videos and things like that, basically, you know, like um saying that, you know, oh, she's an unhealthy body figure and things like that, you know, and also, you know, she's had multiple petitions, you know, like um thrown out against her to get her banned off of YouTube and social media and things like that, claiming that she's promoting an unhealthy body type. But yet, these are probably the same people who will look at um, these fat activists and all this right here, you know, these people who are literally, you know, promoting obesity and shit like that and things. And, you know, they, they put their full support behind them and things like that. They don't be trying to get them banned off of YouTube. But then you get somebody like Eugenia Cooney, which, like I said, you know, we don't know. We don't know if this is an eating disorder or if it's a medical condition because she's not saying and she's not talking about and things like that she's just basically making youtube con content things like that her makeup and dress up tutorial the things that she like to do on youtube and she's not really promoting no body type she's not really saying anything like i'm saying oh like oh look at me you know i weigh such and such pounds and i feel this way and you could be like this too and she's not doing none of that what she basically does when she comes onto her channel is like she she does her makeup she does her dress up tutorials and things like that and she talks about, you know, a lot of interesting things that, and that, that are interesting to her. That's all she does. She doesn't promote. She doesn't promote anorexia. She doesn't even talk about weight and things like that, you know. But it's like, yeah, and she even has video where, um, where she's like, you know, talking about the and responding to hateful comments that she gets every time she makes a video. Or she gets on a daily basis because she gets a shit ton. And I mean a shit ton of trolling and hatefulness and all that. And she takes it with a grain of salt, you know, like she really has thick skin. That I'm saying that a lot of people on YouTube should have because with all the hatred that she gets right there, man, she just sucks it up and she smiles. And she just say, I, I'm sorry you feel that way. But there are many more people out there, you know, who you can watch. You don't have to watch me. And it's that kind of attitude right there that really you know, made me subscribe to her channel because it's like, it's people like that that we, we really can't learn from. It's like through all the hatred, through all the negativity and all that right there, she still, still managed to keep that upbeat attitude. And that's why I say, Eugenia, you're a queen, girl. Like I said, you know, keep doing your thing. Keep making your content. I love everything you do, even though like the makeup and the dress up tutorials aren't really my thing. But keep doing what you're doing. But to give you all a little taste of what I'm talking about, here she is, the popular and loving Eugenia Cooney. And this is your boy Pat saying, peace out, and as always, enjoy. Stay cool, Eugenia. It's Eugenia. So I haven't done a responding to hate comments video in kind of a while and usually it seems like you guys like when I do those and I've had a lot of people kind of like request that I make another one. That's the day I would do that and make another video 
I like respond to some super angry comments. You ruin my life every day you make a video. Well, Michael, I'm very sorry that I'm ruining your life with my videos and stuff, but just so you know, you don't want to watch me. There's actually tons of other people on YouTube, so you can just like click off the video and then go watch someone else, and then your life won't be ruined anymore. Your hair looks terrible at the end of the video. It looks like you're wearing an old wig that looks like a helmet. Please delete this video. You're literally gross. I actually do get incredibly paranoid about my hair, but yeah, I mean, I'm sorry you want me to delete the video. I don't think I'm gonna delete the video over that. First to say, kill yourself. Yeah, see, usually they'll be like, you in the comments, you try to be the first comment, and they'll just be like, first, but this person's like the first to say, kill yourself. Wow, congrats. Eat a whole fucking pie, skinny piece of shit. It will probably get you somewhere in life, emo fucker. Also, slit your wrist, stupid slut, and I want you to put this in a responding to hate comments, you stupid fucking bitch. You are trying to make people feel bad for you. Fucking attention whore. I hope you get fucking raped and die, you fucking white paint splat. And I hope you get fucking shot by the crit. I wanna fucking shoot all you fucking wine bags. One in the leg, the chest, and then the head. Or I will make you bleed out, emo bitch. I also want you to know that you're an emo poser. I highly bet you do not listen to that fucking death screaming shit. Pantera, Metallica, Slayer, and whatever the fuck else. Get this in your head, you fucking whore. If I ever see you, you are gonna get fucking shot by me and my crew. We will fucking drive by you and then say goodbye to your worthless life. Throw it away, emo scum, right now. It's like one of like the really extreme ones. You probably don't want to shoot me if you ever see me. The thing about that is like killing people is illegal. You could actually like go to jail if you and your crew or whatever went and shot me. I don't claim that most of the music I listen to is like super, super hardcore like death metal, so I don't really get how I'm like pretending to be anything. Kill yourself from drink me to be happy. And then of course they have like a picture of bleach, so yeah. God, you are such a loser. Can't help that I'm a loser. Stop judging me. You probably had no friends because you're anorexic and amo. I think you meant emo. Think. And they thought you were a ghost and they thought you would eat their soul because you so skinny that you're about it die. I'm about it die? <laughs> well, I don't feel like I'm about to die right now, but okay. I actually think though it'd be pretty cool if I was a ghost. Like I've kind of always wanted to see a ghost because even though people say they're scary, I think it'd be really cool to see a ghost. Steps to look better. One, less black. Two, less black. That was the same as step one. Three, go outside. Four, join a gang. And five, eat a black roasted sausage. Black is like my favorite color though, and I think black is awesome. Going outside, I don't really see how that's gonna change anything either. Joining a gang, I mean, not to say all gangs are bad, because I honestly don't really know very much about a lot of gangs and stuff but I know like there's some gangs that like kill people and stuff and I don't really see how to make me look any better and plus that would be a really evil thing to do that I really don't get why eating a black roasted sausage would make me look any better either so yeah I don't really see how that would help die you fucking twig no sane person gives a shit about what you do. And all 300,000 of your bot subs should be liquidized like Jews. That's like really bad to say though, poopy man. I'm guessing that means like like gas chambers and that makes it sound like you're Hitler. Hitler was a really bad person. I have actually never bought subscribers. I'm actually really against buying subscribers. Like not to judge other people that do that, but I would personally never do that. Cause I don't know, I just think that's like really pointless to go buy subscribers because then even if like your number says like 300,000 or whatever, they're not like real people, so it's really pointless. So I've actually never bought in subscribers ever. This is 100% the freaking worst YouTuber ever. You're a skinny n-word, lol. You should die. That would be fantastic. You really want me to die that bad? If you just go off my channel, it will pretty much be like I'm dead, cause like you won't see me, so it'll be like I'm dead. Skeletor looking ass bitch. Suck a black dick. Hopefully the chocolate will get in your stomach. Fucking Nightmare Before Christmas looking ass. I love Nightmare Before Christmas, so that's kind of a compliment to me. So thanks, I guess. I don't think black dicks have chocolate in them, so I don't know. I don't really think that would help much, but okay. Eat a vagina, you squirrel. What am I a squirrel, guys? Am I like Sandy Cheeks now? You're a Skinny, you freak. Go rape yourself. I don't even know if that's possible to like rape yourself. Like how is that a thing? Not that I would ever rape anybody because raping is really bad. So like I would never rape anyone, but I don't even think it's possible to rape yourself. Like how would that even work? I don't hate you, but I hate your mouth, your teeth and your hair. You are a freak, but I love your voice. Well, at least you like my voice, so thanks. I go to your videos and go straight to the comments to see mean and funny comments about you. Haha. <laughs> and then I go to your hate 
hate comments video just to see you get hurt. And BT dubs, you suck at comebacks. You talk weird and literally 90% of the population of the universe hates you. Trust me, like less than like 1% of the population, like far less, knows I even exist. So it's kind of impossible for them to hate me, I think. Can't wait till this edgy scene bitch dies so everyone remembers her as that one girl on YouTube that died because she refused to gain weight. I really only subscribe because I'm waiting for her to kill herself or die of starvation. Well, I don't know, Jesus. I don't really feel like I'm going to die, so whatever. I thought Jesus was supposed to be a nice, like, caring person. All right, guys, well, those are all the comments that I'm gonna read for today. And just so you guys know, I really do not take any of these comments too seriously. I'm really, really used to getting a lot of hate on the internet and on YouTube and stuff, and if you guys are ever getting anyone hating on you, I just think the best way to look at things is just kind of to laugh at it and not take it too seriously. Because a lot of the comments are just, like, really ridiculous and crazy. But, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, and if you liked it and you want me to make another one of these sometime, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me and you actually don't hate me, then you can subscribe if you want, because that would be cool. Alright, well, I love you guys, and I'll see you in another video really soon. So, yeah, great. Bye! Next time on Shadow, Modern Medusa.